What's going on guys? It's that guy with movies back here again. Today we're going to be doing some more thrifting. I'm not too sure where we're going to go yet. So we'll see where the day date uh, takes us and let's go and see what some of these thrift stores have to offer today. Alright guys, we're here so let's go on inside and see what they have today. Alright guys, just taking a look at what they got here. Uh, it seems to me like they got a lot of newer stuff here. Like they've got a copy of Focus with Will Smith and Margot Robbie. They got that here. Yeah, like more new stuff. Dirty Grandpa, uh, Gravity, you know, the two grown-ups ones. But you see those like everywhere though. Uh, don't you don't you guys want fun to know dog training? Not me. I've already trained my dog. But uh, here's some more new stuff. Hacksaw Ridge, The Martian, even Tomb Raider. I like Tomb Raider. I don't, I don't think a lot of people really cared for it, but I enjoyed it. Green Lantern, but disc is missing. I like that green case, you know, that's, I already say that's not too great of a movie. Baywatch. Uh, not too much there. Gangster Squad, you see that everywhere. What's this? Rob Cardry in Blackball, the Bobby Duke story from Shout Factory. Uh, is this an innocent man? I don't know if that's worth money or not. Probably not, but. Uh, down here, not too much. What's this? They shoot movies, don't they? The making of Mirage. From Nobody Productions. I have no idea what that is. I think this DVD I think I used to have. It's like some kind of like TV special, like but it's Halo. Apparently they're making a Halo TV show. That could be kind of cool since I did like playing the games, but that's coming out soon. Willow, I believe this used to be worth money. I don't think so anymore since they like released it on Blu-ray and everything. Well, Disney released it on Blu-ray, but. Uh, yeah, not too much. They got some PS2 stuff mixed in there. Uh, more stuff over here, but not too much. And then we just have exclusively games down here. Got a lot of, mostly PS2, like they have like one PS3 game, but nothing I'm really interested in. Like, they got Jeopardy for PS2. Well, I, I love Jeopardy, but not the video game. There's a lot of PC ones here, like, they got, like, a lot of newer ones, like Dragon Age Inquisition. I don't think I've ever actually played the Dragon Age games, I'll probably get them on PS3, but since the things probably won't work. The Darkness 2, I think I played through this game, it was really good, but that one's brand new. Uh, Saints Row 4, I don't think I ever finished playing Saints Row 4. I like those games, but it's this Anno 2205. So it's some kind of oh it's like some kind of simulator game. Hmm. And then Assassin's Creed Unity. So yeah, a lot of good stuff here, but I got I found a few things, but you know, there's the first shelf. Alright guys, over at the other shelf here. And uh, just take a look at what they have here. They've got a uh, a D and D movie, Wrath of the Dragon God. Must be some kind of like direct video garbage. Uh, and you see this like Pearl Harbor set like everywhere. There's like not one thrift store that I come across that does not have a co at least one copy of Pearl Harbor. But there's the Wrath of Khan. Uh, a lot of former blockbuster titles like they got a couple Michael Moore ones here like Sicko and Capitalism, a love story, both blockbuster ones. Sicko, I really like. Capitalism, a love story was eh. But, they got a couple copies of Walk the Line here. Uh, what else? What else they got here? Not too much on this shelf. I think actually there was more on the other shelf. Jesus Camp. I heard this one was really creepy. It's like a documentary or something on some like really creepy like faith camp. That's I think it's on YouTube, but I heard that it's supposed to be really good. Let's 
Super Sweet 16, the movie. What's this? Oh. <gasps> what have we done to deserve this? To bring this upon our world? Mickey Mouse in Star Wars. Hey, Luigi. I got the munchies. And the only, and the only way to satisfy my craving is pizza and pasta. It's very good. Does, uh, does anybody need a sink for ten bucks? I know I don't. Ooh, look at this. It's like some kind of disco lamp. Disco time. Now heading on into the antique mall, so let's go inside and see if they have anything new. Heading on into another saber, so let's go on inside and see if they have anything new. Alright guys, so we're over here at the next savers, just taking a look at what they have here. Um, they have a lot of nice stuff, I guess, decent stuff, but not really a lot to talk about. Like here you go, like I said, last savers. Every thrift store, copy of Pearl Harbor. So there it is. There's a Stephen King collection right there. And uh, really lacking on the Blu-rays this time around. They usually have a ton of Blu-rays, but they got some Don Cherry and they have Fifty Shades of Grey. That is it for their Blu-rays. I think they had maybe like a couple more, but that was about it. But I'll let you guys take a look here and uh, see what they have. And I just keep going here. They have some newer ones too, but it's just stuff I already have, like War Dogs, which is a really good movie, but like I said, I already have it. And you know, once again, stuff like Pablo Art Mall Cop 2, which. Uh, oh, yeah, here you go. They got Chihuly in the Hot Shop. That's something. And then uh, Aquarium, HD Moods Aquarium. That is it for Blu rays. And down here, not too much. Oh, a Delta Force 2. I never really was a fan of the Chuck Norris ones. But really got some Sealed Anchor Bay Evil Dead 2. But as common as that is, I wouldn't really pick that up. Uh, some more newer ones here. They got like Pain and Gain, uh, Amazing Spider Man. That's still very factory sealed. Uh, and then down here. Not too, too much. So that is the first shelf. Alright, second shelf. Let's see if it's any better. More newer stuff like The Dictator and Our Brand is Crisis. Uh, some steel stuff like. Uh, bleh. Some sealed stuff like Santa Claus the Movie. Um. Newer stuff like Deadpool, which of course you have to have that on Blu-ray, not on DVD, but not too much there. And of course, what thrift store is not complete without the obligatory 300 copy. And never say never again. If you guys can find this one thrifting, um, get it because it is worth some serious cash. Because apparently it's the like the unofficial Bond movie, so make sure you guys pick that one up. We have a double feature here, 48 hours and another 48 hours. Mm, nothing there. And nothing here either. So let's go to the other shelf and we'll see if it's any better. Alright guys, now on the very last shelf. So, you know... Let's see what they got, I guess. Old Yeller and uh, Savage Sam, but they call it the Old Yeller sequel. Well, yeah, why would it be in the two movie collection if it's the sequel? Like, uh, nothing, nothing there. Got some interesting stuff down here. Alien Apocalypse with Bruce Campbell. Could be kind of cheesy, kind of fun. Boyhood. It took 12 years to make. Yeah, we know it took 12 years to make. And 
some decent stuff, I guess, down here, a Lego movie, which, of course, is a fantastic movie. I don't really think anybody thought that would be a really great movie, but it turned out really good. But, uh, there's a Spider-Man one, one of those animated ones. I think I have this one, but most likely is not in very good shape. Low Riders, that one's uh, Bernie Factory Sealed. Looks kind of dumb. Uh, Crimson Peak. I still would like to watch that one. That one seems pretty interesting. Uh, down here, Trailer Park Boys. That's Brand New Factory Sealed. Rock and Rolla. That was, that was not too bad of a movie. Uh, season 3 of Homes on Homes. That's Brand New Factory Sealed as well. And down here is another copy of Evil Dead 2. Uh, and a sealed copy of Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. And then finally, down here for our last shelf, nothing. I did find a couple things, so I'll show you guys once the shopping portion is done. So yeah, let's get out of here. Let's go to another store. It was filmed from Disney and Pixar. Cars Life 2. Oh. Oh. Wow. Here we are at the next saver, so let's go on inside and see if they have anything. Guys, inside the next store right now, and um, they're pretty bare right now, but apparently they're loading up another cart full of movies, so we'll see what they have. They got 42 on Blu-ray here. The case is a little bit smushed. Maybe maybe I might pick that up. I heard it's supposed to be a pretty good movie. But I'll just put that there for right now, check the condition after. But it seems like they got a whole bunch of Blu-rays, including one HD DVD here, Jarhead. Um, but so far for Blu-rays, nothing that's really interesting me or anything like that. But over here, you know, it's this Tom and Jerry, the Deluxe Anniversary Collection, which is not in very good shape. This logo. Uh, what else do they got here? Another Blu-ray 1911 Revolution with Jackie Chan. See, so they got some newer stuff here too. I was thinking of picking up Fist Fight with Ice Cube. I didn't mind this one, so I'll hold on to that. Uh, some seasons of Walking Dead. And down here. Not too much. American Assassin. That one wasn't too bad either. I don't know if I'd get that. But, uh. That's an edition of American Pie. Down here. What's this? Is Change Me Ninja Turtles. Uh, that's about it for this little section of the shelf. Alright, guys, over at the next section of movies here. And, uh, this shelf is like one show or no it's pretty much the exact same size but uh, we're taking a look here and look at all the blu-rays they have they have almost like a whole shelf full of blu-rays unfortunately though uh not too much here i did find a couple of ones that were uh pretty cool like a couple sport ones but other than that there is pretty much nothing on the first shelf and down here nothing else either they have a couple seasons of mash one, two, six, and seven. And I can't believe all of these bootlegs that I've been finding. Like, there are a ton of bootlegs. Uh, there's one. There's another. Another one. Yeah, like, they've got a lot of bootlegs on their shelf. There's a couple more here. Let's notice. Can't really uphold. A lot of, like, workout ones, but unfortunately, they're pretty light on movies and they still haven't put up that other cart yet full of movies but down here uh, not too much on that shelf and I believe there wasn't really anything too special on this shelf either but yeah this is a pretty disappointing trip but once again I'll wait and see if they put out those movies if they even actually do put them out alright guys back home from two days worth of shopping so one pile is from one day, and then the other pile is from today. So first off, I'll show you guys what I got on the first day. So the two savers that I went to, 
and then I'll show you guys what I picked up at the other savers, so today's savers that I went to. So, got a pile of DVDs here to show you guys from yesterday, so I bought seven DVDs there, so we'll get started with the first one here. And, you know, it's a corny action movie. It's got Jean-Claude Van Damme in it. And it's the MGM movie time release of Double Impact. I'm really not liking that cover. Like, I think a lot of these, like, Jean-Claude Van Damme ones have, like, just him on the front. Like, I believe... Like, here's another movie time one, Death Warrant. It's just got him on the cover. Same thing with this one. They're both from the movie time series. And this one is the actual poster. This one is not... But, I, like, that that really just irks me. Let me just put that back there. But, Double Impact. I'm happy to find this one. I checked eBay to see what this one was worth. And it's actually worth not too bad of an amount. If you guys can find this one sealed, it's worth quite a bit. Like, it goes for about 30 bucks online. But, opens, qual the price kind of diminishes, though. Like, it's only worth about, like, 15 bucks or so. But, um, yeah, Double Impact, I'm happy to find that one, and there's, like, nothing really that special inside or anything like that. But, yeah, could be kind of cheesy, could be kind of fun. I like cheesy action movies, and Double Impact is probably right up my alley. So, yeah, Double Impact. And then the next one here is probably, like, one that you guys probably wouldn't expect me to pick up, but I've heard a lot of pretty good things about it. I checked IMDb on it, and it's got, like, a 7, but it's only got, like, 3,000 reviews or something like that. But I thought I'd pick it up here. I do enjoy the soundtrack. I haven't seen the movie, though, and that is Pure Country, this being the Snapper Case version. I believe they made a sequel to this one. Not sure when the sequel came out, but... I know they did make a sequel, and I don't think it had George Strait in it, but I do like the soundtrack. Probably some of the only country songs that I like. Well, the 8 second soundtrack was not too bad, but yeah. Pure Country, George Strait, Leslie Ann Warren, and Isabel Glasser. Yeah, and there's the inside. It's a flipper disc once again, which that's another thing that really irks me too, is like the standard version is on like this side of the disc and then the widescreen version is on the other side I really hate that but pure country wanted to watch it so I picked it up I've heard good things about it and I want to check it out and then the next one here I have the first one in this in this I guess little duology on DVD as well and it's a John Carpenter film and that is Escape from LA probably just try and cover that person's address there but yeah Escape from LA I've been wanting to watch these ones for a while now, so now that I have both of them, Escape from New York and Escape from LA, now I can watch these ones. I heard this one isn't very good, actually, like, there's a lot of, like, really popular people in this one. Like, you got Steve Buscemi, I think, like, Pam Greer is in this, Bruce Campbell, Kurt Russell, of course, so you got pretty much everybody in this one. And this one is a, like, a reprint as well, because you can tell by the... The disc there but yeah escape from la i want to watch these two movies so thought i'd pick that one up it's quite common but i wanted to watch it and then the next movie i got here is actually brand new factory sealed and it's one i've been wanting to get for a long time and one that i've been wanting to kind of watch again as well and that is naomi watts and ewan mcgregor in the impossible as you guys can see like i said it is brand new factory sealed and I watched this one, like, a long time ago, I believe, like, when it first came out, I think. And, yeah, Naomi Watts got nominated for Best Actress for this one. And, you know, you guys have to watch this one. This is a really, really good movie. It's about the 2004 tsunami in Thailand. And just, like, one family that was affected by it. It's a really good movie. I highly recommend watching it. It's not like your typical disaster flicks. Where it's kind of like ridiculously cheesy and corny and everything. And it's probably like a good time to watch if you're drunk or whatever. The Impossible though, it's realistic, it's depressing, it's sad. But a very well done movie with great performances from Naomi Watts and Ewan McGregor. And also a young Tom Holland in this one as well before his Spider-Man days. So yeah, The Impossible, definitely recommend watching it if it's on Canadian or Canadian Netflix or American Netflix, or UK Netflix, I definitely recommend watching it, or if you can find it on DVD or Blu-ray, so yeah, 
The Impossible. Like I said, I do want to rewatch this one and see what I think of it. Probably would have preferred to get it on Blu-ray, but, you know, it is what it is. And then the next one here is one that I watched not too long ago as well, and that is Owen Wilson in No Escape. This being a VVS film. And was with this movie, I was really surprised. I thought this one was going to be kind of like cheesy, B-movie, like schlock that nobody really watches and nobody really enjoys and everything. And like not really know who it's made for in that. But I saw Owen Wilson in the title and I was like, hmm, okay, this could be kind of good. And the premise did sound interesting. It was like, it, it could be cheesy, like it could be corny. It could go one or both ways. It could be really good and it could be kind of cheesy, B-movie, low-budget schlock. But what I, got, what I got was a really good thriller and a really good kind of sort of realistic action movie. I actually really enjoyed this one. Owen Wilson, uh, Lake Bell, and Pierce Brosnan. I thought Owen Wilson and Pierce Brosnan did pretty good jobs in this one. And overall, I really enjoyed this one. It kept my interest throughout and just really interesting just to kind of see how they would get out of the situation they were in and that because there was this big like civil war going on in, uh, what was this? I think, it, I think it was Thailand as well. So we got two... Two Thailand-centric movies here, but yeah, No Escape was a really good movie. I definitely recommend watching it if it is on Netflix. It's a it's a really good watch. And then this next one here is actually kind of fluctuating in price on eBay and everything. And I thought I'd pick it up because I never see it anywhere. And I believe this one was the better received of the two. And that is Tales from the Crypt presents Demon Knight. I checked IMDb on this one, and this one has, I think, like, 6.7, and because they, they made two of these Tales from the Crypt movies, because, of course, Tales from the Crypt was a, I believe, a comic series, I think, and then they adapted it into a TV series, and then they did these two movies based off the TV series. Uh, this one being Demon Knight, the other being Bordello of Blood. I never see Bordello bleh. Bordello of Blood, anywhere, and that's a really hard title to say, but Demon Knight, I finally found this one, I believe Scream Factory released both this one and Bordello of Blood on Blu-ray as part of their Scream Factory line, but uh, this is the original Universal title, or the original Universal release right here, and really happy to find this one, could be a good watch over uh, or during Halloween time and everything, so yeah, Demon Knight, thought I'd pick that one up. And then the next one here is a newer film, and it came out, I believe, a couple years ago, and unfortunately it is on DVD. I kind of prefer to get these newer ones on Blu-ray, but if there's a DVD for a good price, I'll pick it up, and this one is Going in Style, starring Morgan Freeman, Michael Caine, and Alan Arkin, who are all Academy Award winners. And I like this movie, actually. I did watch this one when it came out, I believe. 2017 yeah 2017 and I watched this one I wasn't really expecting too much from it because it's like kind of these like old people like an old like an old people movie but it's like a heist movie though the heist part kind of got me a little bit intrigued but the old people part I don't know but is actually it actually wasn't too bad it was pretty decent I like this one and actually Zach Braff directed this one who you may know as uh or who you may know from Scrubs, he directed this movie. And actually, this is a remake of an older, late 70s movie with George Burns, I believe. But yeah, going in style, I like this one. It was it was a pretty decent watch. Kind of like a lazy, rainy, Sunday afternoon watch. But yeah, going in style, I definitely recommend watching it if you guys have not seen it, or you're just kind of looking for a recommendation to watch on just kind of like a lazy or a rainy afternoon. So going in style was pretty decent. I liked it. So that was it from yesterday. So now we're gonna go on to the stuff from today. I got I picked up three blue or three Blu-rays and three DVDs. So I'll show you guys the Blu-rays first and then we'll move on to the DVDs. Uh, two of them are sports related titles. I'll show you guys one and then one is another title. So this first one here 
I do actually want to check out, it does seem kind of interesting, and I've been wanting to watch it for a while now, and that is 42, the Jackie Robinson story. I'm not really huge, I'm not really a huge baseball fan, but I do enjoy watching sport movies, and this one should be no exception. It looks like it's a very well done movie, and a pretty interesting movie too. I kind of, I wouldn't say I really like period pieces per se, but I kind of like those period pieces, like kind of like in the 40s and everything. I kind of like that stuff, but not like Shakespeare and like medieval times and that. I don't really care for those, but I like stuff that's like set in the 30s and the 40s and like the 50s and that. I kind of like that stuff. So this one should be no exception. This one's starring Chadwick Boseman and Harrison Ford. I think everybody gave praise to Chadwick Boseman for this one, for his portrayal of Jackie Robinson. I think he was nominated for this one. I'm not too sure. But yeah, 42, the Jackie Robinson story. Thought I'd pick it up. I wanted to give it... I've been wanting to actually watch this one for a while. So maybe I might watch it here soon. And then we'll break up the two sport movies here with just another... Kind of random pickup is just a movie I've been hearing good things about, and that is Sherlock Holmes. This one, of course, starring Robert Downey Jr. and Jude Law, as well as Rachel McAdams and Mark Strong, probably one of the better actors of recent times. And yeah, I've been wanting to watch this one for a while too, because I hear nothing but praise for this one. Guy Ritchie, he's pretty inconsistent when he when it comes to directing. I like Snatch, I like, or I didn't mind Rock and Rolla, but I didn't really care for King Arthur, Legend of, uh, bleh, King Arthur, Legend of the Sword. That's a really long title and a really hard title to say. King Arthur, Legend of the Sword. But yeah, Sherlock Holmes, I believe they made a second one, and I think they're actually making a third one. That's supposed to be coming out next year, at the end of next year. So, gonna have to watch those two, or these two before... The third one comes out. So yeah, Sherlock Holmes came with a slipcover and everything. And yeah, this is one I've been wanting to watch for a while now. And yeah, I can finally watch this one. So yeah, Sherlock Holmes. And then this next one here, I know nothing about. So if you guys have seen it, leave a comment down below. And it's another sport title. And that is When the Game Stands Tall. Starring Jim Caviezel, Michael Chiklis, Alexander Ludwig, and Laura Dern. Looks like it's some kind of, like, maybe face faith-based movie because it's from a firm films which is a sony company and its main kind of production handle is doing faith movies but it doesn't really look like that though but really doesn't look like that though just kind of looks like a you know like a typical like normal football movie but uh yeah when the game stands tall maybe i'll watch this one i think it got like panned by critics like all the critics hated this one but I'll give it a shot. I'll see what I think of it. And uh, yeah, this one came with the slipcover and everything. As well as uh, 42, that one came with the slipcover. But those are the three Blu-rays. And I'll show you guys the three DVDs I picked up. This first one is a newer one from last year. And that is Den of Thieves starring Gerard Butler, Pablo Schreiber, and uh, O'Shea Jackson Jr. Who was Ice Cube's son, by the way. And I watched this one recently. Well, not really recently, but couple months ago and I actually really like this one if I thought it was a pretty good heist movie kind of intense like it's probably not along the same lines as heat in that but still I like Den of Thieves I thought it was a pretty competent decent heist movie I thought it was a little bit too long it's like two and a half hours but overall I really like this one the performances were pretty good I can't stand Gerard Butler but I guess he gave a pretty decent performance in this one but, yeah, it's one of these VBS titles, so you're kind of getting, like, the cheap case and everything. These are, like, really cheap releases. And, you know, you guys in the States, you guys get the better releases and everything. Because this one, I believe, is released by Universal. So it's a little bit more of, like, an actual release. Like, here in Canada, we get these VBS films ones. And they're, like, super cheap. So, yeah. Den of Thieves, I recommend watching it. It was a pretty good movie. And then this next one here is kind of a classic one. Not too much to say about it, but it's The Invasion of the Body Snatchers. This being the 78 version. It's got an all-star cast. Donald Sutherland, Lenny Nimoy, Jeff Goldblum, Veronica Cartwright. So yeah, pretty sad cast. And it's a horror movie, so I thought I'd add it to my collection. And it is a flipper disc, unfortunately. But yeah, Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Thought I'd pick that one up. 
And then the last one here, the case is really nasty for this one, so I'm probably going to have to change the case for it. And it's a movie I've watched recently as well, and that is Fist Fight, starring Ice Cube, Charlie Day, Tracy Morgan, and Jillian Bell. I thought this one was pretty decent. It's not the best comedy movie ever made, but I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was kind of fun. Like I said, it's not perfect, but I didn't mind it. I thought I uh, Charlie Day, I really like him as a comedian. I liked him in the Pacific Rim ones and in the Horrible Bosses films as well. But yeah, Fist Fight, I recommend watching it. It was pretty fun and uh, a pretty good time at that. It's obviously not on the same level as 3 O'Clock High, which the movie is based on. Kind of like, it kind of borrows the same premise, like, it, only instead of students fighting, it's teachers fighting. So yeah, Fist Fight. And that concludes the pickup section of the video. So that is about it for all of the pickups. So thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Twitter and Instagram links will be in the description down below if you want to follow me on there. Also be sure to check out my IMDb profile page. A link for that will be down below in the description of this video as well. Anyway though guys, that is about it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time. Hey man, it's very good. Wow.